Hey everybody, we're uh, still working on that CJ5 grill. Uh, we want to try and get that finished up so we can put the radiator in and get that snowblower Jeep fired up. So yesterday before I went inside, um, I finished with the red, the base color. And I got this mixing cup here that has a whole bunch of different uh, mix formulas from 1 to 1 all the way to 8 to 1 1. Um, <coughs> And on the base, uh, you can mix one to one or two to one. I always mix two to one. I get better coverage that way. Uh, so it's two parts of the base. I use a slow urethane reducer. A uh, slower reducer you use, the better gloss you'll have. And then this particular um, base, I uh, use a clear coat activator to activate it and um, I put that on yesterday and when putting the base on uh, nice wet coats uh, two coats will cover uh, I put three on there and um, we're gonna go in the booth there and take a look see what that looks like and we're gonna start mixing the uh, clear coat today and see if we can't get a few coats clear on today so uh, let me take you inside there and, and show you what the grill turned out like Okay, there's three coats of base on the grill, and everything's laying down nice and flat. And this sat overnight, and this morning we'll go over and we will uh, blow it off and tack it off, and kind of hard to see, but um, we're not taking out any of the original stamping defects or anything. Um, that's what kind of makes a Jeep and we're not getting rid of any of these spot welds or anything like that. We're not smoothing this out and making something that isn't. Uh, we're keeping all the um, all the little stamping uh, where the metal was stretched or shrunk and gathered up. We're keeping all that in the grill to make it look like it's supposed to and uh, we'll clean this off and kind of tough to see. It doesn't in the camera it, it looks kind of kind of pinkish looking but it's really a nice dark red uh, it'll look a lot better with the uh, clear on it it's hard to see with the lighting I have in here but um, it's a little rainy out and damp today I'm gonna put the heater on for a little bit and uh, mix the clear will come out we'll shoot the clear on there and uh, I'll try and get you a better shot of that okay let's start mixing okay the clear we're gonna use is uh, it's made by Southern Polyurethane, Polyurethanes, and you can check those guys out on the on the internet. Um, I've tried a lot of clears in all the years I've been painting, and um, their Universal Clear Coat here is um, is my favorite right now. Uh, it sprays like like nothing I've ever sprayed before, and it builds real fast, and it's a very very high quality clear coat. And our mix is going to be one to one, one part of clear coat, one part of activator, and <clears throat> uh, it's very critical. You use a 1.4 tip on this on your spray gun, and make sure you have it adjusted properly. <clears throat> uh, you want to lay down wet coats, and uh, your first coat is is critical. Um, not a tack coat or a dust coat or anything like that you want to put a full wet coat down and then you've got to decide if you want to do um, like insurance type work where you're getting a panel out real fast or if you want to do restoration quality work um, you can put a second coat on you know in 10 20 minutes as soon as it flashes off or you can wait 30 put another coat on wait another 30 put another coat on uh, you could spray it like that as many coats as you like with 30 minutes in between. Uh, you could spray three coats today, um, sand it tomorrow, put another three coats on, whatever you want to do. Depends if you're buffing and sanding or not, but um, uh, we're going to put uh, probably three, four coats on, half hour between coats, and you'll see how fast it builds. I'll take you in there between coats and try and show you how fast it builds and, and what it looks like. But um, I've got the heater on now. We're going to mix up right now and head in there and put the first wet coat on. 
and I'll show you the process as we go along. Hey guys, here's the finished grill. Um, again, the color is kind of different with the lighting on it. Um, looks a little looks a little pink through the camera, but it is a deep dark red. And well, it's hard to see the reflection with that much light on it. Let me see if I can get you in there a little better. We've got three coats of clear on there. And I think you could see me in the reflection there with the camera. Uh, it laid out perfectly flat, free of orange peel, uh, no dry spots or anything like that. And when you're shooting, you're clear. Um, getting it to lay flat like that doesn't happen by accident. You have to have everything just perfect. Um, and when you're shooting, you're clear. Uh, your fluid adjustment has to be perfect and your air pressure has to be perfect to get it to lay down real nice. So, on this particular um, session of clear, uh, normally I spray about anywhere from 18 pounds to 22 pounds of pressure. That's with the trigger pulled on your gauge. And um, I had to, I had it set at 22 and I shot the first coat, but uh, you could quickly see it wasn't laying out right. I wound up at 18 pounds of pressure with the trigger pulled, and that was perfect. It's a 1.4 millimeter nozzle, and uh, your fluid adjustment, you just got to play with that until you get the right amount of fluid coming out where you're not running it off the panel, and it's not going on too dry. So when you have everything right, everything comes out silky smooth and you probably couldn't get that too much nicer even if you buffed and uh, sanded and buffed it. So uh, this clear does lay down absolutely perfect and uh, if you got your settings right you'll, you'll really enjoy it. Um, and we did this, the three coats, uh, <clears throat> with between 30 and 45 minutes between the coats. The longer you wait, the better it is. Uh, you want those solvents to evaporate out of there. And that's why you wait that long. So that's what it looks like. Uh, we'll give it just a little bit and then we'll take it inside and we'll hold it against that yellow. And I'll show you guys the contrast between the yellow and the red that we're using. I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we are a couple hours later. I wound up putting a fourth coat of clear on there. Uh, everything is dry enough so I can move it around and there's a shot of the red with the yellow and that's going to be the uh, the body color uh, windshield frame will be black but uh, snowblower undercarriage and a complete snowblower unit out front will be that yellow and there's the there's the clear again you can see my hand reflection in there you see how nice and flat that is and that's what the whole body will be looking like so um, if you uh, have any painting questions have any questions at all or something you'd like to see out there uh, just shoot me a comment uh, if you like the video hit the like button uh, subscribe pass the video along to anybody you know uh, try and get the word out there about my channel and we're always trying to expand it and make it better so uh, anything you can do to get the word out appreciate and that's where we're at today and um, I'm gonna start making the uh, buck and get the copper shaped for that copper gas tank and uh, that's coming down the, um, the next couple videos I should be getting to that and uh, I'll show you that process as we go along so as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next video